Hey, everybody. It's a beautiful Thursday, January the 6th. It's National Bean Day, and it's time for the Wise Guys and Girl, sponsored by Kmart's Grocery Department. They have a very large canned goods section, and I saw a guy there who told me he lived on big beans for a month. That can't be good for the back. <laughs> oh, as always, let's start with Sir and the Weather. Not a bad Thursday at all. Currently minus six, feeling a little bit cooler than that, but we will work our way up to a high of minus two today under a mix of sun and cloud and a chance of flurries today. And for National Bean Day, top uh, shout out to the top five beans in the world, garbanzo, soy, kidney, refried, and the friendliest of them all, the halvia. <laughs> and of course, honorable mention to Canadian Olympian Marnie Mick. I thought you were going to say the Carrie Bean. Oh, oh well. Done. Another honorable mention. I, I, I'm disappointed I got... that you completely blew over Jelly. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on to your disappointment. We'll try to disappoint you further in just a second. <laughs> Uh, well, we've already spilled the beans that it's National Bean Day. You know, green, red, cannellini, fava, and lima. Or is it lima? I don't know. Depends if you're eating them in Peru or not. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, these are just a few of the different kinds of beans recognized today as we celebrate the bean in all sizes, shapes, and colors. You know, beans provide a significant source of protein. And there are approximately 40,000 bean varieties in the world, but our bean counters say that only a fraction of them are mass produced for regular consumption. And all but one grow in gardens. Paul's jelly bean. There you go, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> my, my sister said that our friend Jack claims he can communicate with legumes. I was really skeptical, but I learned that Jack and the beans talk. <laughs> And I read an astonishing fact that Mr. Bean consumes edibles. Not always, but when he does, he's a big bean. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it is time for Tunes with Tamik. Tamik, what are we listening to today? I didn't research it in detail, but it's a song by Josh Groban, so I think it's got to be okay. The Bean Song. Oh, I didn't even see that one. You know... No, I didn't see that one. Is it good? Did you hear it? Did you listen to it? I did zero research except for the title, and I thought this one's got to be safe. I just want to say it's Josh Groban. That says it all. <laughs> I was going to do a song by the Black Eyed Peas, but honestly, I don't like any song. <laughs> <laughs> so I went and I just looked around and I typed the word bean in it. And this is a very big stretch, okay? But I'm going to go with Nirvana. Because, and it's very stretched, big, Kurt Cobain wrote a song named Bean, but that is not the song we're, we're doing, because honestly, that song is, he must have been on some, well, he was always on some stuff, but he was on it <laughs> when he wrote that song, because he wrote that song, I think it was, there's a drug that they call Bean, anyway, he was talking about that in that song, but then found another song that's a deep cut that I never heard before called School, and I thought, appropriate. And the lyrics go, won't you believe it's just my luck? Repeat, repeat, repeat. No recess. And I feel like that's what we've been going through. Just not, we're not getting a break, people. We need recess. We need a break. So everybody that's doing their distance learning, their online learning, remote learning, whatever we want to call it, you're home and you're facing a computer right now, take a break. I think sometimes we get caught up in, you have to get all this stuff done. You know, we have to do all this learning, we have to get this stuff done, but it's okay to take a break in the middle of, if you're a teacher teaching, if you're a student learning, just take a break, talk about life, maybe just breathe, you know, walk around, massage that neck, um, because it's not easy to sit in front of the computer all day. For those of you that are working in front of your computers all day, do the same thing. So even though Nirvana talking about in school that there's no recess, you know, create some recess for yourself, take a break. And again, won't you believe it's just my luck, you know? You're not really happy about what's happening, but do what you gotta do. So that is my pick for today. It's nice and repetitive and angry. Just like <laughs> okay, known to me. But it's a good pick anyways. The school by Nirvana. 
Or if you want to listen to who? Josh Groban. Josh Groban. Yeah, I'm going to put myself on mute and listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my book for today. All right. Uh, yeah, uh, we, we still need recess. And also changing work cultures and workplaces. Uh, we've talked about this regularly off air, and I think it's it's we're going to see significant changes in how businesses operate, schools operate, and work operates in the out of all of this. So not necessarily a bad thing, but uh, what a crappy way to, to have to get to that goal. All right, let's get to Ventures with Venturo. Venturo, great book recommendation. Love the Raven. Uh, what have you got for us today? Uh, you know what? It's the start of a new year, and as usual, a lot of people have resolutions. Uh, some people are eating healthy and consuming a lot of beans, but others of us are probably getting into some exercise. So I have an app that I want to share with you guys today. It's an immersive app. It's called Zombies Run, right? So very, very interesting app. So if you're looking for some motivation to get your exercise going, Go check out Zombies Run, right? Ultra immersive running game and audio adventure. So this is how it works. And I actually started using it. So you start off the app and then while you're running or exercising, you can use it. You can walk, you can run, you can use it on treadmill. You can go outside on a trail. You can run on a beach. You can use it anywhere. But while you're walking or running, you're hearing uh, the adventure coming through and telling you that zombies are around and you have to run. And when you hear these little prompts, then you speed up or slow down your run. (laughs) Pretty, pretty interesting, right? So if you're looking for some motivation just to get moving, go check out Zombies Run. And that's that's the app for today. That's uh, formerly known known as Peloton on (laughs) being (laughs) seen. So Ventura, I'm looking at it right now. And it looks at one like at one point you you can pick up some devices to help you along your way. Uh, one looks like some kind of medication. Another one looks yeah, like yeah. You can pick up water. You can pick up water along your run. You can collect different things along your run. And it will tell you that you can pick up water. I'm liking the axe actually. <laughs> what about a ping pong paddle? <laughs> Not so handy with the zombies, but uh, unless you're working with them here in the building. <laughs> Oh, all right. Uh, let's check that app out today and get ourselves moving. Yeah, yeah, definitely need to move for sure. It is Thursday. That means it's time for Thursday's thought. Uh, when I heard the word beans today, I immediately thought to my uh, grandfather in Scotland and his uh, famous uh, baked bean recipe. He was very meticulous about the, the methodology and the ingredients. He always insisted that it required 239 beans. And I said to him, why so specific? And goes, one more and it's 240. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll pay all praise, grandfather officer. There's a reason we leave Paul to the end. Eh? <laughs> That's where it all comes out. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, hey, let's not get ahead of ourselves because we got you, today's bean day tomorrow. Right. A natural right. follow-up. <laughs> and, I <have> not listen. <laughs> yeah, don't listen. Don't breathe either. <laughs> well, we got some N95s those, coming, so you'll be able to breathe. I hope those N95s get to here soon. Yeah, in, in 95 years. Anyway, m- moving on. All right. Well, we made it to another day, everyone. Thanks to our fans and friends and odds and ends for sticking with us. Have a great Thursday, everyone. We are the wise guys and girl, leaving you smarter and happier than you were yesterday. <laughs>